I'm Casey Donovan, and this is The Space. It's time to reflect on your week with one of our favourite mindfulness tips from the last seven days. So get comfy and let's do this. Have you ever been in a really good mood until someone says you're not? Have you ever woken up really happy until someone says you look tired? We talk a lot on this podcast about the power of words. The words we attach to our experience become our experience. This is according to self-help author Tony Robbins. Words have a very real effect on the body, he says. The minute you use a word like devastated, you're going to produce a very different effect than if you said, I'm a bit disappointed. It's not just important to watch our words. The way people describe us is also important. Tip one. Watch out for this phrase. You must be dot dot dot. People love to tell us how we must be feeling. Oh, you must be devastated. You must be exhausted. You must be excited. Oh, you must be heartbroken. The truth is, everyone reacts in different ways. Don't let someone influence how you should be feeling. Tip two, give yourself two words. It's rare that we feel only one thing. We talk about this all the time on The Space. You can be nervous and relieved. You can be excited and scared. You can be tired and happy. If someone asks how you are, don't oversimplify your feelings. Tip three, constantly reassess. Our minds cling to words we repeat often. We're also creatures of habit. It's easy to say we're sad every day, even if we're not sad anymore. The moral of the story It's great to talk about our feelings, but don't let someone else mislabel them. You know your mind. You choose your words. You must be relieved to hear that. I'm Casey Donovan, and this is The Space. Did you know we have an Instagram page just for you? Check us out at thespace underscore podcast. We'll see you there. Space out.